Hi everyone and welcome back to If It Ain't Cheap, I'm Not Buying It. So today I have a little small Dollar Tree and I have a little thrift haul. Uh, this past Saturday I had got up, I was going to go to this other Walmart that's about 40 minutes away because they have really great uh, clearance items and I just haven't had a chance uh, being that I started my new job about three weeks ago. So, I, you know, on Saturday, I do like to go out and do my grocery shopping worth, and uh, I end up going to this uh, new Dollar Tree, and they have all the Christmas items out. You guys have probably already seen some of this stuff, but I just wanted to share. So, I know in my last Dollar Tree video, I had showed you all these in the gold I uh, found it in the red. I thought these were really nice and pretty, and they're really shiny. And then I got uh, some berry picks. And uh, I don't know what you would call these, like uh, branches, the branches. I got these in red. Look how shiny these are. And I found the poinsettia clip-ons, three-pack. Uh, I've never seen the uh, green foliage uh, leaves with a little bit of uh, silver sparkle in there. So I thought this was gonna be really nice for what I'm gonna be using it for. And of course, they're regular, um, cones uh, with the little berries on it. They have these every year. And I found uh, the vase fillers and the gold and the red. And I got some deco mash in the red. I got four packs of these and just two packs of white. So be on the lookout for my uh, Christmas DIYs that will be probably start premiering uh, in November. So I just wanted to show you some of the picks. Uh, I've been buying a little at a time. So I'll be able uh, to create this fabulous uh, DIY I'm going to be doing soon. And uh, you know at Dollar Tree you, you, you got to get it when you see it. And uh, or it'll be gone. Next, I'm happy to share with you, prior to me, uh, us buying our house, uh, back in, I think, maybe April, April or whatever, uh, sometime, I found the self-adhesive ball tiles. And it's like a gray-white color. And I, um, just came across them today in the garage. We were doing a little moving around, rearranging stuff out there, and I was bringing in my fall um, Thanksgiving dishes. And uh, I am super excited to show you. I bought 30 of these, which was an overkill <laughs> because I have like a galley kitchen, just that one long. Um, countertop and then just my basic stove to the right and you've probably seen that but when I get into hanging these up I'll go more into detail all right so like I was saying I went to the thrift store we're not supposed to be there so I'm just gonna get everything out and it's not a lot of stuff because I'm holding remembering how much junk, I call it junk now that I have. Uh, so, all right, so if you remember my last week's Dollar Tree video, I found these beautiful um, glass candle holders. They look like martini glasses. And I had got two of these and these were I believe four dollars a piece 
Let's uh, just give you. All right, so I bought those out just to show you because uh, I'm trying to get my dishwasher ready to get everything put away. So at this thrift store I went to today, I found almost completely matched a uh, little tiny candle holder. And uh, it was a dollar ninety nine, and I believe the green tickets they were fifty percent off. So I only paid ninety nine cent for this today. Really pretty, and it goes almost with that. We're gonna I'm gonna blend it in. So I'm lift the camera up just a little bit, and you see how that to be in the middle. It's a little. Um, the height is not equal, but I may just put something all, all, you know, underneath of it to give it a little bit of height. I'm not sure, or you know, sit it somewhere on my Christmas table. So I was happy to find that today. And I am blown away. The KitchenAid tilt head flex edge beater i have been wanting one of these forever and it'll pop up in my mind you know around the holidays when i'm doing a lot of baking and using my KitchenAid. Um, my KitchenAid was a wedding gift uh, from my cousins up in new jersey god rest her soul she passed last year and uh she bought us uh, the KitchenAid for our wedding back in 2011. So my KitchenAid is actually 10 years old. And I have never broke down and gotten me a KitchenAid uh, bender with the, um, what do you call it, the Flex Edge on it. So this was $4.99. And these are going for $20, you know, um, at Amazon so I was super excited when I seen it this is gonna make my life a little bit better trying to get the edges you know when it whips around I don't have to get a regular um, silicone uh, spatula thing to scrape the edges now so this will help me and for five bucks I said all right this is this was worth going out today to find this for this box Next, I found the Buffalo Snow, and it was $1.99, if you can see it. And you know, it's just the regular um, the fake snow that you can put uh, on your table, centerpieces, uh, fireplace, just really that polyfill, but it gives you the illusion that it's snow. So I said for two dollars, I'm gonna pick it up and uh, do something with it. So I found that. I'm trying to remember everything that I got today, which is not a lot. And uh, at another thrift store that I went to, which is like right across the street from this one, I found this fabulous. I know it goes to the bar and it is a part of the Dorothy Thorpe collection and I got it for one dollar. You see that? And if you have been watching my channel from the beginning when I was doing all my thrifting, I have um, a lot of pieces uh, from the Dorothy Thorpe uh, collection. I have the... Um, tall tea, tea glasses I call them and um, platters etc so this was really nice to come across today and then as you can see it has like the little curves on it and I forget uh, I didn't do any research prior to doing this video but uh, I thought this was a nice piece and lastly I am starting to be teapot crazy, y'all. 
I found another beautiful teapot. And this was actually $3.99. The gold inlay around it. And the lid, the lid. Uh, no chips or anything. Just fabulous. This would have went great with my Mad Hatter tea party. Uh, I don't think it's any type of uh, vintage. It's made in China. It does have some type of marking on it. And it says Crown Ming from China. I didn't do any look up. I just bought it for the uh, static piece of it. So yeah, these are my four fabulous finds that I found today, including this. Um, which is probably, I shouldn't have gotten it, but just something else to add to my collection. So, I hope that you're able to get out to the Dollar Tree to start getting your Christmas uh, picks before they're all gone. And maybe do a little thrifting. You never know what you're going to find in a thrift store. And, as I always say, child, if it ain't cheap, I'm not buying it. I will see y'all in another Dollar Tree Tuesday video. Have a great week. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.